Hello everybody! Welcome to this uh, live feed this evening. Thank you for joining me. My name is Erica and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for Story County Conservation and uh, we're excited to have you be a part of tonight's event. Of course we would have loved to have you here in person uh, but we're excited to have you joining in live with us as well. And right now I am standing at Sleepy Hollow Access, which if you're not familiar is right across the road from Ada Hayden um, in Ames, Iowa. And I am here tonight because we are going to properly, officially dedicate the South Skunk River in Story County as a state water trail. And this is something that has been in the works for um, quite some time. In fact, uh, we have a handful of people here tonight um, that are going to help us kind of do this properly. You'll hear from several key folks. Uh, the director of the Iowa DNR will have some words to say. You'll also hear from John Wank, who is a part of the Water Trails program. And you will get to hear from our board chair, Dr. Jim Pease. He's been um, a part of our organization for many years. And you will also uh, get to hear from some of the most amazing volunteers who have helped make this process possible. They've been, been involved um, every step of the way. And um, this has truly been a project that's been going on for, for many years. So there are a lot of excited people here tonight to, to finally put the rubber stamp on this dedication. And uh, we're excited to have you join us. So we are getting people situated um, on the water right now and we have um, like I said, several speakers that are, are getting ready to, to say some words. Um, I'll flip the camera around actually so you can see what uh, is going on out here. We've got all kinds of members from the Skunk River Paddlers and uh, they are excited and uh, are showing off their, <laughs> their paddling skills. Um, so let's get started. Um, I am going to hear just in a minute, get this situated on a tripod. So you'll probably hear some noises. Um, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. So uh, just bear with us for one moment while we get situated. Right, so first you'll be hearing from Dr. Jim Pease, who is our board chair at Story County Conservation. So let's get Jim in the frame here and we'll turn the mic around. Okay. Welcome everyone, uh, both uh, here uh, at the uh, uh, at the ramp here at uh, Sleepy Hollow Access, to those in the water and to those all of all of you out in uh, 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 watching this uh, uh, virtually uh, uh, on your com home computer. Uh, we're here today to to uh, dedicate the Skunk River Water Trail, and, and so I want to welcome everyone uh, and and uh, say that this is uh, has been an important river for a long, long time. Long before Euro-Americans came here, of course, Native Americans used this river for, for food, for transportation, for, for water, uh, all the things that uh, uh, is important for us here today as well. Uh, uh, certainly this, uh, it wasn't always, it, it's always been a water trail, although not an officially designated one. So uh, we're here to, to make sure that it uh, 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 becomes an official one uh, to, to uh, Iowa. Uh, the recreational uses of this river uh, became important probably, uh, it's, it's been important certainly as a fishery for a long, long time, and uh, as a water source then for Ames in the, uh, in the, uh, the 1960s and 70s. In fact, in 1977, there was a built just down river a, a few miles from here where these paddlers are gonna uh, take out in South River Valley Park. Uh, they built a sand dam there in 1977 to back up the river so that it would uh, 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 recharge the aquifers that were important for the wells that Ames uh, uh, depended upon. In 1984, they built then the, uh, the concrete dam, which um, uh, has been there ever since. And uh, we hope it will be a, uh, 
uh, mitigated sometime in the near future so that uh, paddlers can paddle the whole 35 mile uh, length of the uh, uh, Skunk River Water Trail in Surrey County uh, unimpeded by, uh, by dams. Recreational, uh, recreationally for paddlers, it certainly became important here in central Iowa, probably in the 1970s when paddling became much more common. But I do want to say that this is my natal river. This is my birth river. Uh, I grew up in southeastern Iowa and the lower 35 miles of this river is one that I paddled a lot in the 1960s. Uh, so the water from here ends up down there uh, just south of Burlington, Iowa. And uh, so this is a, 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 it's always been a really important river for me. And so I'm, I'm happy as chair of the um, uh, Surrey County Conservation Board to represent um, uh, Story County and the the, uh, the kinds of things that uh, uh, have, have gone on here. Got a little history here. Uh, in 2005, and I'm, I'm thinking back uh, to, to some of the, uh, uh, as far back as we can figure, 2005, Story County got, uh, along with Skunk River Paddlers and the Prairie Rivers RCMD, got the first grant from the Federal Recreational Trails uh, to improve um, uh, both accesses and trail signage uh, uh, along the trail. In 2000, and I think that was about the time, and we'll have John Wink here in a minute, he can let me know, I think that's about the time that the water trails, the official water trails program in, uh, in the Iowa DNR got started. Uh, a couple years later, 2007, Story City uh, got the first uh, REAP uh, City Park and Open Spaces uh, grant to improve the, um, uh, the, the access at, uh, uh, and, uh, and the dam at, at Story City. Uh, and that same year, Story County got a REAP grant uh, to, uh, uh, to build the Sopers Mill access and the fishing um, riffle there at, at Sopers Mill upriver from here. 2007 also, um, uh, or excuse me, in, in 2013, I think, we, we got um, uh, the Iowa DNR along with uh, help from uh, volunteer help from the Story County Master River Stewards Program, the Story County uh, or the uh, 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 Skunk River Paddlers uh, and the Iowa DNR installed a portage trail uh, around the Hannams Mill uh, Dam in, in, in 2013. And that same year, uh, the interpretive signage that appears here at this access and several other accesses along the river, uh, 2013 was written and, and designed and installed uh, uh, along this water trail. So other uh, accesses have been installed uh, by the Iowa DNR and by uh, Story County over the years. And in uh, um, we Story County just uh, recently in, in 2016, in March of 2016, entered into a sponsorship and maintenance agreement with the Iowa DNR. Uh, saying that Story County Conservation will be the responsible party for this. As part of that, um, uh, most recent improvements of the, uh, the, the, I think there are 10 accesses we have in, in um, uh, Story County um, for this, this river, uh, two of them were improved uh, with water trail grants in 2017, both the Peterson uh, access uh, upriver from here and the Askew access, uh, access uh, uh, south of it. And that was in 2017, and uh, uh, also this brochure, the Skunk River Water Trail, was uh, finally published in October of 2017. So you can see the progression of, uh, of things uh, as we come through the years. Uh, just this year, we accepted, in fact, uh, last month or maybe two months ago now, uh, the Story County Conservation Board accepted the, uh, the, the written engineer's report on the Hannam Mill Dam uh, mitigation or removal project. So stay tuned for that. That's down the road. Uh, we hope to have that uh, uh, somehow mitigated uh, uh, over the next next few years. Um, so we've got got lots of past. We have lots of uh, 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 in, important things, important important improvements. And on behalf of Story County Conservation, I want to say that we're really proud to to be a part of it. And I have to tell you that that the Skunk River Paddlers have been both a reliable and uh, uh, constant uh, source of countless volunteer hours and cleaning up the river, cleaning up accesses, removing hazards uh, along the river, sweepers and, and uh, complete blocks and other things. Uh, so they have been a really important source of volunteer 
uh, effort, and, and, and we're, we're pleased with that kind of volunteer commitment. Uh, Story County Conservation and the, or the DNR, we could not do it alone without the work of, uh, of volunteers uh, uh, to keep water trails open, safe, and, uh, uh, and clean. So uh, thank you uh, for being a part of this day, and uh, we're proud to, to, to continue to be sponsors of this, uh, of this water trail uh, uh, down the road. I want to introduce John Wink, who's uh, Water Trails Coordinator for uh, uh, the Iowa DNR Water Trails Program. John? Well, thanks, Jim. Um, that's a great history of the area. And it's interesting, you know, that history, just that local history here, you know, multiply that by, I don't know, 30 plus uh, water trails that we've been working on uh, since 2004. Our program actually started in 2004, 2005-ish, uh, and it started out with a, a mini grant opportunity where we gave on average about seven or eight thousand dollars and said go make a water trail and people did the best they could um, we, like I said we didn't have a whole lot of funding at that time and so what we learned over the years as we were giving out these mini grants or about six grants per year that we would give out and we'd have signs that looked different in, in, in certain places we had accesses that were perpendicular with the river we had um, all kinds of different ideas that were out there. Um, but in uh, 2010 and 2010, uh, the state actually mandated a statewide plan so we could kind of get an idea uh, to put some consistency to what we were doing. Um, and as a result of that, we, we uh, published three different uh, publications. One of them is a kind of a how-to um, on how to build accesses um, uh, best practices and things like that. Then we had a signage um, template that shows all of our different signs uh, and whatnot. So we do have a better um, approach now than we did in the, in, in the early days. And we've also received um, increased funding. Um, so <clears throat> with that, uh, we get better quality trails. But as Jim said, um, if it weren't for the local paddlers, if it weren't for the local river users, including tubers and anglers and people who recreate on or next to the river, um, there really wouldn't be a need for this program. And what we've seen just in the last two years is an explosion of activity. I mean, people are on the river all the time. I mean, I uh, one of my favorite places to go, and I know Jim likes to go there too, is Chichaqua River Bottoms in, in Northeast Polk County. I live in Des Moines. And uh, I went there just last Saturday and I used to go there and, and, and have that place to myself. There were 10 parties that I was sharing uh, that, that body of water with uh, last Saturday. So, um, and that's, that's happening nationally, it's not just in Iowa. So um, there's a need for this program um, and uh, we encourage you to, to look us up um, at iowadnr.gov and uh, forward slash paddling. Uh, That'll get you to our area of the website of the DNR. And you can find out, out all kinds of things about uh, paddling and recreation on the rivers. Um, one of the things that I did want to mention, and I, I have to say this, and I, I don't want to take up too much time here, because I know we got to get going, and it's going to be exciting when, when our director, Kayla, actually um, proclaims this a water trail. Um, I had never paddled a river until October of 2004. And, and I remember that day that I paddled, it was like, it's like yesterday. I had a friend who was after me for about seven months, trying to get me to go paddle on the Des Moines River. And I said, no, oh, I mean, people actually paddle? I mean, or kayak, he was trying to get me to kayak. People actually kayak the Des Moines River? I thought the upper Iowa was the only place you could go. And uh, he's like, no, no, I go out there every day before I go to work. And I'm like, okay. So finally, just to get him off my back, he had two kayaks. We got in the river, it was about six o'clock in the morning um, off of Euclid Avenue, and I was not looking forward to it. I was just, you know, trying to just, you know, get it over with, so to speak. But I got on the river, I started seeing familiar things from a different perspective. Um, I was in a kayak which sits low to the water, and I could, I could, you know, just put my hands in the water and feel the, the coolness of the, of the, of the river. 
and um, we paddled upstream and back because we didn't do a car shuttle. We paddled underneath the Euclid Avenue Bridge and I saw my first uh, bald eagle in the wild, perched up in this dead cottonwood tree, just looking down at us and then looking at the traffic that was zooming by on Euclid Avenue and looking down at us and I was sold. I was sold. Within about a month I had all the gear and all the equipment to go paddling and then my wife got all her gear and all her equipment and now I, I'm the water trails coordinator at the, at the DNR. The thing about it is you see things, I feel like I, I, I'm seeing Iowa for the first time when I get out on a river. Um, there's different kinds of birds. There's lots of different history. Uh, you go by these old bridges that you wouldn't see otherwise if you're on the interstates. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a side of Iowa that if you haven't seen, I would, I would highly recommend uh, uh, getting involved. And, and I know I'm not the only one, but there are other people that are out there uh, like me who all of a sudden you, you, you experience the river and then you, want, you, then you find out, oh, well, we've got water quality issues. How can I be a part of that? And you go from like a, uh, a river user to a river steward. And uh, I've seen that in a number of people when they first start out, uh, they grow and they become advocates for the river. And, and I, you know, if, <laughs> I think our rivers today need voices. And uh, all these folks out here, the, 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 the Skunk River paddlers are the voices for the South Skunk River. And uh, I'm really proud to be a part of, uh, uh, of that group. And uh, with further ado, I'm gonna, I'm, I could go on forever. I'm gonna invite our, our director at the DNR, uh, Kayla Lyon, uh, to, to, to say a few words. Well, thank you for the introduction, John. I have to say, I've been on the water since the 90s, so I've got you beat, but just a different <laughs> section of the state. Um, thank you for having me here today as part of the South Skunk River dedication. I'm a Story County resident. My family lives here. Um, I'd love to give a shout out to the Story County Conservation folks. We are active users of your spaces, particularly McFarland Park. We're out there all the time. So thanks for all the work that you do. Um, this is an exciting day because this is our 30th water trail designation. Our role at the department is to, we know that natural resources play a key part in economic development. Jobs can bring people to a community, but people need things to do in that community in order to stay. And so it's our role at the department to showcase all the things that our natural resources have to offer and educate people on how to utilize them and draw them to places like this. Even those that have lived in the same area for a long time may not know about the opportunities in their backyard. Particularly now, Iowans are taking a lot of interest in our natural resources because it's one of the things that we've been able to do throughout this whole pandemic. People have been drawn to our public spaces, our public lands, and our public waters. Water trails are a part of that. So we strive to work with projects that create a safe resource and enhance and improve Iowa's waterways. And to reshape the mindset of the users to be good stewards of a resource while creating a fun atmosphere for all skill levels and all ages. This South Skunk segment adds 35 miles to our existing 959 miles of water trails across the state. It improves access, it removes dangerous dams, and eventually will allow for whitewater opportunities. But these things don't happen without collaborative efforts. Story County Conservation and the Skunk River, River Paddlers played a key role. For more than 20 years, the Skunk River Paddlers have taken ownership in this resource. They've cleaned up access areas, they've picked up trash, they've hosted cleanups, and removed log jams. They've communicated important in information to new paddlers um, that are just getting started in the sport. In fact, before there were any standardized signage, the Skunk River Paddlers could be seen attaching their own signs to bridges and doing the things that DNR would later require as part of the process of becoming a water trail. As a partner with Story County Conservation, they have done an incredible amount of good for the river and those who utilize it. Like I said, I grew up in an area with an abundant resource for paddling opportunities. And so I appreciate and respect the river. So it's exciting to me to see all of this enthusiasm build for paddling. This is again, a very exciting day. So thank you for having me. Thank you for your partnership to create more opportunities for paddlers in Story County. And let's get out there and stay safe. Now with that, 
It is my honor to, to present to Story County Conservation. This certificate signifies that Story County Conservation has successfully met the guidelines established for the creation of a state designated water trail for a 35 mile route on the South Skunk River from Story City to the southern boundary of Story County. Let it be known that the South Skunk River Water Trail is open for public water recreation. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to hand it over to a member of the Skunk River Paddlers who has been, oh gosh, how long have you been a part of the Paddlers? I've been a paddler for 15, woo! 15 years now. Wonderful. And, uh, and so Jeff is going to say a few words and then we're going to do an inaugural paddle down the state. That sounds the great. State, uh, well, my name's Jeff. I'm a member of the paddling group and um, we paddle the skunk a lot. We meet on Ada Hayden on Wednesday evenings uh, as a social event to paddle around. And we paddle the skunk whenever we get the chance. So we mostly believe in free flowing water clean water, we believe in volunteering wherever we can, and uh, yeah, having fun at the same time. So we recommend uh, that you try and be safe, to learn water skills, you take classes, you get good boats, you be careful. And you know, it's iffy on water like this. You don't, these are good paddles. I don't, paddlers, I don't recommend going out on this water unless you know what you're doing. So anyway, thank you, and join us on this beautiful river sometime. See you on the water. Oh, where are your PFD? Bye. Whoa. All right, everyone is going to get started on the inaugural float down uh, this new state water trail. We hope you all get out and do this for yourselves soon. Like Jeff said, maybe wait a little while for the, the river level to go down a bit. We've had a lot of rain lately, uh, but we really hope you come and enjoy this resource um, that is close in your backyard and um, really is a treasure. We're so lucky to have this in Story County. So let's bid them farewell. The first paddlers down the South Skunk State Water Trail. I should let him get in before I push off, shouldn't I? <laughs> or maybe he should let me get in. <laughs> <That's room. laughs> 